Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite commentary alien on June 7th. It's a TGIF here in Georgia. A little rainy today, looks like. Anyway, uh, I wanted to follow up. Mr. Paul Harvey used to do Friday commentaries. So I wanted to do a week commentary for you guys based on what Mr. Paul Harvey used to do. So here it goes. Hello, Americans. This is your favorite alien. In for Mr. Paul Harvey. Stand by for commentary. Well, it's June 7th. The week has passed, and it's a week, the June 6th, 1944, the 75th anniversary of D-Day. As an alien substituting in for Mr. Paul Harvey, I would say he wouldn't have liked the 75th anniversary. He did both the 50th anniversary when he did his commentation about that. That was a great then. 75th, I hope he's not rolling over in his grave and saying, what the heck is going on with my country? Did you see both the president and the representatives that went up there for Normandy? Speaker of the House commenting about putting the president in prison. President Trump giving praise to uh, the outgoing Prime Minister, Theresa May, who he had daggered to death with his tweets and comments all over the place and her treatment of Brexit. And then he uh, comments about Mr. Johnson there, you know, the guy that's supposed to succeed her or that he wants to succeed her. Now... This is a person of the United States trying to meddle in the affairs of other countries uh, with, doesn't know that the consequences of his so-called comments are. A leader of a country, no matter if it's the U.S. or who, should always say no comment when they ask him about the internal affairs of another country. U.S. presidents for the most part, have gone through with that. There's been a few exceptions, Obama for one, George W. Bush, and George Herbert Walker Bush for two, Ronald Reagan for three, who, well, you know, their records speak by. But this president here has gone way over the red line, and so has the House Speaker. So as a commentary all I could say to Mr. Paul Harvey's spirit is, Mr. Harvey, your spirit would be sad today because the 75th anniversary should have been treated with more respect since you only have a few of the people that actually were in Normandy. They're in their late 90s now. They won't be around for the 80th. And they definitely won't be around for the 100th. It's like this year is also the 100th anniversary of the Versailles Treaty. And look what happened with that. Nobody remembers that. Amherst, Amherst's Day, remember? November 11th? The Americans call it Veterans Day. They forget what that day stood for. So as if I were you, Mr. Uh, Paul Harvey, looking at your American citizens here, They've lost their way. Will they ever get it back? I'm not sure. But if they allow their leaders to behave the way these two leaders have this week, that is a shame on them. This is your favorite alien speaking for Mr. Paul Harvey. Good day.